There are many methods of determining the size of nanoparticles. Different technologies have different degrees of accuracy. In a school laboratory, we can use size exclusion chromatography, ultrafiltration, and electrophoresis. A mixture is loaded onto a column made of porous beads. It contains our nanoparticles and two proteins, one larger and the other smaller than the nanoparticles. A sample buffer is run through. Large particles will pass more easily through the column, however smaller ones become trapped inside the porous beads and take longer to elute out of the column. Given the results, the gold nanoparticles must be between 500 and 2 million Daltons in size. Jason is using ultrafiltration to determine the size of the gold nanoparticles. Inside each tube is a membrane. The first one is a 10,000 Dalton cutoff. Anything above this size will be retained in the upper chamber. Anything below this size will pass through the membrane and be collected in the lower chamber. Three sizes are used, 10,000, 50,000 and 100,000 Daltons. A sample of the gold nanoparticles is placed into each tube. The tubes are centrifuged to allow particles to fall onto the membrane. These results indicate that the nanoparticles are between 50,000 and 100,000 Daltons in size. Electrophoresis is used for determining the size of molecules and different types of gels are used for different substances. The gel consists of a matrix of fibres. Smaller particles travel through the gel more easily, therefore they are found towards the lower end. Larger particles are observed at the top of the gel. The technique to determine the size of gold nanoparticles by electrophoresis was developed by Reddy Srinivasalu at RMIT University. The size of the gold nanoparticles can be determined by the distance they travel through the gel compared to a series of molecular markers. The presence of bubbles indicates that the circuit is flowing correctly.